guys, it's me and I'm back with another video and today we are gonna go ahead and do a tutorial on these super cute <laughs> So yeah y'all, um, we're gonna start with the clean slate and I got these nail tips from Amazon. They're like extra extra long tips and I like to swatch different colors when I'm doing freestyle, you know, just to get my mind right. So we're gonna start off with the color Hotline Bling by Not Polish because we're gonna start with my girl Buttercup, so yeah. Um, and y'all guess what? I'm using the size 16 brush. Can you believe it? Oh my god. But yeah, so this brush is from um, Nail Supply Glamour. And I told you guys that I was trying to start working on, you know, um, applying acrylic with a bigger brush so that way I can do nails quicker. And I've been loving it, okay? I love it. So um, I'm just applying the hotline bling to like the bottom half of this nail because I want all of them to be ombre. So I'm just going in. I haven't got the one bead method down yet, y'all, but I'm working on it. So the color that I'm gonna go ahead and put on the top of this is G15 called Neon Ninjas, and it's a glow powder um, from Not Polished. So um, I'm just going in and just trying to get a smooth transition. And y'all, I really, really like Not Polished acrylic when it comes to ombre, especially, it's so easy. Like, I think anybody could do it. This is like a really, really light, it could almost be like a sheer color and as you guys can see if you apply enough you can definitely get that coverage in and get a nice ombre with um the not polish powder it's really smooth it's not too clumpy it's not too heavy and the powder misses so i definitely recommend that you guys get it and it is beginner friendly if i do say so myself so the next color that i'm going to go ahead and use is called g09 and it's nightcrawlers it's also a glow powder and this is for the bubbles nail. So I'm going to apply that at the bottom of the nail. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just working, um, you know, with like a nice medium bead. The nail is pretty long, so it may not look like a lot of the clinic, but y'all, I was trying to get the bead as big as possible. And um, while I'm doing this, you guys, um, when I swipe down the nail, I always go on the sides um, and tap it just to keep the shape, that way I don't have to spend a long time um, shaping with the hand file or e-file. So you just wanna always make sure you pat the sides down. And um, when you're applying the acrylic, you don't wanna press it down too hard. You wanna use like light swiping motions. It's not like a heavy thing. So the next color that I'm using is Frost by Nailed by Naya. And this is also a chance for you guys to see like the difference in consistency when it comes to powder. This is the size of her powder, you guys. I wish it was more because I really love um, her powders. Like you can get one bead um, application done with her powder, definitely. But in this case, I was like, you know, doing an ombre. So I didn't do like a one bead. But as you guys can see, this powder, you can push it up. You can move it. You can really, 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 um, Take your time and sculpt the nail and mold it into where you need it to go. Um, it's gonna take a little bit more to ombre with this one, and I think just because it's like a thicker powder, and also I'm not ombreing it onto like her powder, I'm ombreing it onto like another company's powder, so that could be a difference. Hey y'all, the nail fell. <laughs> I was so distraught, but let me show you why I love Nail by Naya. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like, Literally, it fell and I patted it back into place. What powder do you know can, like, what powder do you know can do that? Come on now. I wasn't even mad. I was, like, too happy about that. So, um, the next color is Sweet Talk by iGel Beauty. And I told you guys, do not sleep on iGel. I hope y'all listening. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And as you guys can see, she was hanging out with the big dogs, okay? iGel was like, who is going to not apply pigmented who's not gonna show out for the eye gel okay do y'all see that she didn't give me any problems um i definitely like eye gel these powders and i have a very wide vast collection of powders due to the fact that i bought so many powders from them and they had a sale so y'all should definitely consider purchasing from IGL Beauty if you're on a budget and you're looking for something affordable because baby they got the colors for days if you're on a budget you can definitely get a nice solid collection with these powders and some of them do marble but if you check out my hauls that I have you will definitely see which colors are like the colors that you should definitely pick okay okay 
All right, so this next color is by Nail House and it's called Pink Matter. Y'all, I be mixing up every color that I can. Whatever goes with my set is what I use. So, um, I really like Nail House. Um, when I ombre her powders into other powders, it just goes on so seamlessly with no problems. Um, it's a smooth powder. Um, you have a lot of control with this powder as well. So y'all should definitely invest in some of her powders too. I really like um, the products from Nail House. But as you guys can see, I'm just applying it. And y'all don't see me. Y'all see me blending. Y'all see me applying that thing. Do you see that? It looks so nice. Oh my god. But yeah, um, I'm just going to continue doing that. And then we're going to move on. Alright, you guys. So this, I actually um, mixed this glitter with clear acrylic. Um, I got this glitter from Michaels, and you can find glitter anywhere, Walmart, Michaels, Joann's. You can just mix it with clear, and that'll give you, like, a nice glitter. Um, you can also make custom acrylic powders, and I also have a video on that, so y'all stay for that. But, um, I'm just gonna apply it, apply it to the top of the nail, like, the cuticle area, because I want it to kind of look like... Just give it some dimension, just a little bit of clips and glam. Like y'all know I love glitter. I try to incorporate glitter on everything, okay? So this next color is by my most favorite acrylic brand, <laughs> Glitter Bells, and it's called Ocean Crush, y'all. <laughs> isn't she dreamy? Like, isn't this beautiful? Oh my god. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the top as well. And look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love glitter bells. Like if you know me, you know that that is my favorite powder. So um, the next color that I'm gonna use is also by Glitter Bells and it's called, I have to go flip the color, I'm gonna write it back over there. But my bad y'all, I don't know why I didn't flip it over. And the next color is by Glitter Bells as well and it's called Rainbow Crush. And um, I'm using just a really, really small amount. I just wanna spread it out on this nail because we're gonna do something fun with this one. Um, it's only three Powerpuff Girls, so on this one, we're going to try to incorporate all three of them. And um, the next color that I'm going to apply is a glitter acrylic as well. It's Cotton Candy by Nail House. And I'm going to apply that on top of it. And as you guys can see, it kind of gave you like a really nice cast of a different glitter. And they really mesh well together. And it's just so pretty. Like, oh my god. So um, now I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the glitter powders that I used and I'm gonna create like little droplets, like little drip. Cause you know, like they were experiments. Like, so this is like representing sugar, spice, and everything nice, you know? So I'm just trying to make it look like the laboratory that they were made in and stuff like that. So I'm just like making like these little like lava looking globs and then um, the drops and stuff like that. After that, we're gonna go ahead and get into the fun part, which is the water decals, you guys. Oh my God. So you just put them in the water for like 10 to 20 seconds, slide it off. And then I like to cut it a little bit bigger that way I can cut it to the side of the nail. So I'm just going in with my scissors and just cutting off the excess. And I encapsulate um, my water decals with acrylic powder, but that's just me. And I also put a clear layer of top coat, just a small amount, just to keep, um, the sticker in place and I don't cure it because I want to make sure that it's in the position where I want it just in case I have to move it up or down or whatever I just put the top coat in the background so that it can lay flat and then I go in with my scissors and then cut off any excess press it down and then when I'm sure of the location I go ahead and cure it just so that it doesn't move and I got these stickers from Nail Supply Glamour and this is what we're going to jazz the nail up with even more so I'm just going in and just applying the stickers, you know, looking at the nail and seeing where it won't look overcrowded just so it can look nice. And then I'm gonna apply, you know, break up at the bottom and then her in like fight mode at the very bottom. And I did that for all of them. So um, I'm just applying the stickers that came with her group. And then I'm doing the same thing with both of just applying the stickers and just trying to make it look um, as unison as possible and stay cute, you know? All right, and last but not least, Blossom, we're just gonna go ahead and apply the stickers that came with um, her vibe and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to encapsulation so that we can go ahead and see 
what's going on but this was really fun to do like it wasn't difficult at all it's maybe difficult coming up with like what you're gonna see style but y'all i cannot draw for like i can i could draw like a basic heart or a square or something like that but i definitely don't know how to draw for real for real all right, you guys, so I'm taking these glitters that I got from Amazon, and I'm going to go ahead and just highlight the center of um, each of the nails with the corresponding color. So I'm just applying the green to um, Buttercup right now, and it's just a small amount. I'm not going to overcrowd it because, y'all, I have a problem with that. Like, sometimes I'll just go crazy, and then at the end, I'll be like, oh, my God, I did too much. So I'm trying to keep it as, like, you know, unison as possible i want all of them to look nice and not have too much going on so that you can see like you know the small details so that's basically what i'm doing so i'm going in with the blue on bubbles and then on blossom i'll go in with pink all right you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up blossom and i'm gonna go ahead and just you know apply the glitters move them around so that it's not overcrowded and then I'm going to encapsulate everything and I just encapsulate with Mia Secret Clear that's mainly what like I practice with um and I have like a pretty large jar of it so that's what I use but um we're going to go ahead and go in with the stickers on the pinky nail just so that it can blend in and mesh with the other nails and go with the theme so I'm just applying like small little accents um you know the Powerpuff Girl logo and then a picture of the three of them at the center of the nail and then i'm just gonna apply a few more little small accents i'm not gonna overdo it because i still want to see like you know um the background design so i'm going in at the tip of each of these nails with some gel polish and um was well, gel top coat and um i'm just going in at the tip so that i can go ahead and use my chrome powders at the tip of the nails just to give it like a laser vibe and it's like an iridescent chrome powder, so it's not going to, you know, um, take over the nail or be too pigmented or anything like that. So I'm just curing them for 60 seconds so that the top coat can dry, and then I'm going in with this. All right, so I got this from Nail Supply Glamour, and I'll link it in the description. So I'm just patting it in and rubbing it in, y'all, and um, it's not going to, like, you know, be too pigmented, just like a little laser vibe, like I said before. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up on um, Buttercup, just rubbing that in. And then we're going to move on to, like, my favorite part, which is taco. I don't even know why I went in like that, y'all. Who knows? Y'all be doing crazy stuff. But <laughs> how cute. We can't see right now, but <laughs> how cute is that? Oh, my God. Like, I love it. Love, love, love. I wish I would have did it on my nails because, y'all. This set went off, okay? Um, so look at that, y'all. The glitter at the top. Everything that I pictured came to life, you guys. And it's so beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue the top coat. And then cure the nails. And then show you guys, like, the final results with the pictures and everything. So that you guys can see everything, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but y'all thought I was going to stop talking, but I'm not. Because, baby, bubbles did not come to play. Do you see that glitter at the cuticle? Do you see that? Like, it's giving me life. Do you see that the glitter in the center, like, reflecting? <laughs> Do you see bubbles chilling? Now, let's move on. Do you see? <laughs> Y'all, this is so cute. I love it. You see Buttercup on the phone, like... Hey girl, what's up? Just chilling, you know, doing me. Like, y'all, I fell in love with this set. Like, I love it so much. And I used to watch, like, the Powerpuff Girls when I was younger. So it was just, like, pure nostalgia for me. Like, oh my God. Like, right, you guys. So these are the final results. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below which one was your favorite. See you guys next time. Bye!